My name is Giorgio Prestos, and I'm a, a graduate student here at the University of Toronto, and I'm doing my graduate work in structural engineering. I, um, but in, as a part of that, I TA two courses in first year. I've been the head TA for CIP 102 now. Uh, it'll be for a few years. I'll, um, and I'm also a TA for Praxis two. CIV 102 is really about learning the basics of structural engineering. And so you learn about why things stand up and uh, how forces and stresses are carried in bridges and buildings and beams and columns and things like that. And we learn about materials and how materials behave under load and things like steel and wood and concrete. And, and so uh, it's really just an introductory course on that and it's, it's really a lot of fun. When I went through engineering science, it was, uh, it was a course that you learned a lot and you took those lessons forward into other courses um, that you didn't expect, where you didn't expect them to show up. I really enjoy teaching the basics of some fundamental concepts that even if you're not going to go into structural engineering, if you go into any engineering where there are physical mechanics involved, you really you get a strong understanding of, of how those things work. More often than not, the TAs in engineering science in particular are there more for than just a job. I mean, I don't do it for the money. I do it because I enjoy teaching students. And so we're more than welcome to... Uh, answer questions and I like being involved with seeing how students struggle with those concepts and I like helping them through those those uh, difficulties. Being able to learn at such a quick pace is, is something that um, is exciting and you learn about all these types of new things that you, you had no exposure to before so don't freak out about the new things you're you're seeing and experiencing. One of the differences of how we learn in university is we kind of try to focus on the fundamental understanding of something rather than mechanics of how to do certain tasks. You know, ask your TAs for help, that's what they're there for, and I think you know, that's uh, really an important part. And They're not there to scare you and they're not there to, um, to be mean to you. They're really, they're paid, they're, they're being paid to help you out. It's tough for someone to admit they don't understand something. Uh, there's that struggle and it's, like you say, a new experience. So. Part of it is, is being able to understand when you don't know something. Being able to realize, I don't really get this concept, and then you try to solve it. And if you can't, at that, and you try a couple times, and you maybe ask some friends and you say, you know, how did you approach this problem, or what were your thoughts on that? And if you're still stuck, and you're still not satisfied, then at that point, I think it's, um, it's a good idea to go to the TA and say, you know, uh, this is what I'm struggling with. It's important because you're identifying that you're identifying to the TA that you've tried and this is what you did and it still didn't work. It doesn't help when you go to them and say, I don't know anything, I'm completely lost, and you know, you may feel that way, but it's important for you to go down and dissect what you really don't understand. And and if you ask these penetrating questions to the TAs, you'll really you'll you'll get a lot out of it. Oh, I was really scared, yeah. It was uh, you know, first time living away from home as it is with most people and uh, that's one part of it, but the other part of it is, you know, you're, you're, you know, everyone was performing at such a high level, it's very intimidating, and so, and you're learning all these new things at once. Be interested in learning. I think the people who don't want to be here, you know, um, they, don't, they don't enjoy it as much as the ones who really engage and, and really want to, to be involved. Uh, no, I think that's, that's good, and uh, I look forward to seeing everyone in Civ 102, and, and Praxis too, and we'll, uh, it'll be an interesting learning experience. So I look forward to seeing everyone in, in the fall.